Hello, my name is Chris Ramoldong, and this is Writer's Talk, Episode 4, Setbacks and Obstacles. I am an aspiring amateur author. Uh, you can visit my website at www.chrismoldong.com to check out my blogs, this Writer Talks web series, stories for sale, and uh, free short stories as well. Uh, also, through my website, I'm going to put out my first novel called The Mustard Prince in the Continent Kingdom. It's going to be a fantasy adventure um, novel on the first of five, which is going to come out on January 1st, 2016. So welcome to New Year with the Mustard Prince. Okay, so writer's talk is pretty much just me talking about different subjects um, in my journey to become an author. So... Uh, With that said, one of the biggest things that happens that has seemingly happened with a lot of like writers trying to come up is just, or just in any pursuit, is just your setbacks and obstacles. Um, Pretty much, I I have a coworker, I work full time, so writing is really hard. That's one setback already, is that the amount of time you have to write is very limited to what reality um what realities you have to face you know you can't you know most people can't just sit and write and not have a job obviously um especially if you have a full-time job and you know afterwards you want to unwind and instead you know you're getting to pretty much your what would be kind of like a second job in writing. Um, so that's really hard. One thing that a coworker said of mine, as far as creative pursuits go, is something along the lines of, as you're coming up in like, say you're an artist or an author, people hate you. Like not really hate you, but they just, or in my case, it's not that they hate me or anything. It's just that there's this huge sense of indifference. And once you make it, they love you, you know? And then one sense, it's kind of motivation to want to make it. It's like, wow, everyone just, not everyone, but just there's so many people that you tell you're an author, aspiring an author, I got my website, and it's just kind of like, oh, they don't really care too much, you know? Some do and some don't. And it's something I'm starting to realize right now, too. Um, Yeah, they just don't seem to care because you haven't really made it, you know? Um, And it's just this huge indifference of just like, well, I want to make it. I want people to know my stuff. And I want people to know what I'm writing about so eventually they'll buy it. Um, and there's few people that will buy it, you know, uh, just really grateful, uh, to them, you know, for sticking with me, but it's really few and far between, you know, um, other setbacks that happen is if you ever write a query letter, these are what you send to the literary agents more often than not. It's like, it's like applying to a job and having your cover letter and resume. And it's just you don't know what the person's looking for. It's just, you make this query letter. Sometimes it's simplistic, you know, it's just like, here's my book. Here's the genre. Here's the age group. Here's the word count, low description, a little bit about yourself. Then you wait, you send it, send whatever the agent wants and you're on the way. Um, And then some of them are really dynamic. But one thing you'll get, unless you're really lucky, is just like a lot of rejection. <laughs> like that's with, which, I mean, you're trying to make it as an author. It's really hard. There's a lot of people that want to do what you're trying to do as well. So it's really tough to get, because sometimes you'll see a literary agent and it's like, okay, I want fantasy, like the muscle prints. I've sim- tried to submit the muscle prints to literary agents. Um, for a while now and it's like okay they want fantasy they want it quirky children's okay perfect my book is exactly that quirky fantasy children's book okay cool 
reject it. <laughs> and like, you know, you send a query letter, reject it. And it's like, oh, well, that stinks, you know? It's like, I really wanted to get with this particularly particular illiterate and um, it just didn't happen for whatever reason. I just, personally, I don't know what agents are looking for per se, you know? Um, and well, that, that goes for like resumes too. You really don't know what this job or whoever's ever interviewing or reviewing resumes is really looking for. Um, same goes for short story contest. Um, you know, sometimes I'll just spend like a good, like two weeks, a month, just writing a story and I like it. And all of a sudden it's like, Oh, you did it. <laughs> you know, you didn't, uh, you didn't place. And that's like, Oh man, <laughs> it's like, it's one of those things that it makes you question yourself and, and doubt yourself to be honest with you. And that itself is an obstacle too, because you get all this like self doubt and, then. Uh, also, you, you question, hey, am I really good at this? Am I not? And you just don't know. Um, I guess that what's really needed is perseverance. I, from what I can read, from what I've read and heard from authors that made it, it's just, those that stick with it, just persevere. Um, Another quote that I read to paraphrase was that pretty much every professional author was once an amateur writer, you know, an amateur author. So it's, I mean, the, unless you just got hooked up and you have connections, for the most part, someone who was once a pro was once an amateur. Um, that goes for everything, too. So... Yeah, um, it, it's a tough journey for sure. It's it's one that um, I've seen my ups and downs, but I always go back to the learning process. Hey, this is just part of the learning process. If you're not struggling, you're either really lucky or like something's off or else you're, just, you're a natural, you're a genius or a prodigy or something like that, you know, but you, you know, you don't go from step A to step, you know, steps Z. Yeah. You know, there's A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, G, you know, whatever. You know, you're not going to go skip steps you know, pretty much. It's, and, and you have to realize that, hey, um, maybe there's things you need to fix. Maybe there's things that um, are working, but you just need to stick with it. Um, can't let the doubt get to you and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode's, uh, this episode of Writer's Talk. Um, just leave any comments below. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.